Hello everyone, this is Josef Not here and today I'm bringing you a quick short tip tutorial where I would like to talk about meshing in OpenFoam. You if you are a newcomer to OpenFoam, you might know the very simple tool for OpenFoam called Block Mesh, which is perfect to create very simple geometries. If you're further along on your journey with OpenFoam, you might create your more complex geometries or the mesh for more complex geometries with Snappy Hex Mesh. Because most of the users I know use Snappy Hex Mesh, or alternatively, you might create your mesh with a commercial product and then import the mesh to open foam and now I would like to draw your attention to an alternative to snappy hex mesh which is called CF mesh and it has been around now for a couple of years I've been using it but um, uh, by talking to you guys out there, I noticed that not a lot of you know about this alternative. CF Mesh was created by Franjo Juretic and it has been around, at least uh, the open source version has been around for you, uh, for possible usage and you could download the source code and compile it to a certain version, but for the latest OpenFOAM release of version 17.12, the contributors decided that they provide this measure to the official release of OpenFOAM and now you can find it also in the release, so if you don't have to compile it for your version. For older version or other versions of OpenFOAM, of course, you have to compile it from the source. But if I go now to my version OpenFOAM 17.12, There you find a folder called modules and here you find CF mesh and what I will now do, I will just show you what you can do here and I uh, encourage you to go um, and test the tutorials, go for the, the user guide which is here located here in user guide, go through the settings and then test it because in my experience for some geometries snappy hex mesh creates the better mesh but for some geometries cf mesh creates the better mesh so i would encourage you to test it if you struggle with snappy hex mesh maybe this might be a better solution for you so if i go now to tutorials here you can see that there are different um, utilities for the creation for example of 2d meshes for 3d meshes and usually i use the 3d hex dominant mesh or cartesian mesh and there are a couple of tutorials here my favorite one is the bunny tutorial as you see here and the point is that very similar to snappy hex mesh you have one dictionary to define your mesh settings and this is called it's, it's located in system and it's always called mesh dict and there are two um, mandatory entries surface file and max cell size so you don't have to specify anything else if you don't want to but you have the possibility to use additional optional entries to um, define the refinement of your mesh so for example here we are using an STL file of a bunny and then we def or, uh, define refinements of objects you can use cones as you see here you can use boxes or spheres or lines and you can use also additional mesh quality settings but that's not all maybe we find also other possibilities here if I go here for example elbow mesh dict here you see we use uh, an stl file for uh, for the elbow we also use local refinement and this is the point that you can also refine your mesh along your patches that you define and it's very similar to snappy hex mesh and you can also add boundary layers and you can also rename the boundaries so just i would encourage you to go through these tutorials all you have to do is enter cartesian mesh and enter and then it will run the mesher in the background and then afterwards you will have a hex dominant mesh but at the what uh, at this point what i would additionally do for you guys i would like to 
go to the user guide and copy this to this folder and just go through the it uh, quickly Okay, so here you go, the user guide, and I would really encourage you to go through it. It has 26 pages, so that's something that everybody can do. And as you see here, you can create different kinds of meshes. You can create Cartesian meshes, very similar to Snappy Hex mesh, 2D Cartesian meshes. You can create tetrahedral meshes and polyhedral meshes. And this is the bunny tutorial that I was talking about you can use STL files or uh, rather for me strange file format called FMS but you can convert STL to FMS format and as I mentioned you have only two mandatory settings and everything else is um, optional so you don't have to specify all the settings like in snappy hex mesh because that can be very overwhelming sometimes you can refine uh, t, uh, in, uh, defined by boxes or spheres or along patches, your boundaries later on. And just go through, you have a lot of possibilities to define your mesh refinement, boundary layers, anisotropic meshing. You can just stop mid meshing if you use this work workflow controls to take a look at the quality of the mesh. Mid meshing, you can rename patches and so on. So maybe this helps you improving your meshes. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learned something. I would like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.